Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today is an awesome day because the beast cages for iPhone 12 are finally here. And we're gonna talk about why this is the best cage if you have an iPhone and you like to take videos or photos with it. Now, right before we get into the meat of things today, I just wanna say, if you're not subscribed, I got some really cool videos coming. Uh, and you may not want to miss them. So go ahead, just real quick, hit the subscribe button. And if you hate this video by the end of it, feel free to unsubscribe, but I appreciate the support. Let's get to it. For those of you who are not strangers to this channel, then you know that for the past, I don't know, handful of months or so, I've been using uh, this guy. This is the Beast Grip Pro, and it's essentially a great universal cage for pretty much any smartphone uh, to be able to Put it in here and detach a bunch of accessories or just have a better grip while filming with your phone you got hot shoe mounts quarter 20s uh, you can rig it up change the sizing everything right whereas here you have the uh, beast cage pro which i should probably break this down for how it comes this has some extra accessories on it uh, these handles that you see here these are all optional on this side just one second same top handle also got the awesome new uh, 155X anamorphic lens on there. You can check all this stuff down in the description down below if you want to check them out. And of course, we're gonna show some sample footage. Don't you worry. All right, so this is basically what the cage looks like uh, if you pick it up. So you can see you got the front of the phone and you have the back here. Now this is not your daily driver of a phone case. Now I don't think anyone is going to put their phone in this and walk around with it all day. Although you could, and I guess if you're in like construction work or you're the type of person who really drops your phone all the time, this would be a great option for you because it is just solid metal. Now, along those lines, I will point out my one um, kind of wish was that the back is fully exposed. So there's no cover on this. I'm actually touching the back of my phone right now. If it landed on a flat surface, then it's gonna be totally fine. But if something went like this, then it's going straight on the back of your phone. So I wish there was like an optional plate that you could insert like right here so that the phone was fully enclosed. Obviously the front needs to be exposed because you gotta see your screen. So a little feedback for your B-script. Now beyond the build quality, you have a ton of mounting points, basically quarter 20s all across the top, bottom sides, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you also have this little knob up here, which is going to control the uh, many different camera mounts that you have. So it comes defaulted with the lens mount for the uh, main sensor lens, but it easily unfolds and you can grab, uh, it comes with a bunch of these that allow you to kind of um, attach it to different ones. So I can flip this one around and get the ultra wide or telephoto, I think that's the ultra wide. And then there's another option to get the other lenses. But again, all this is this, you can hear it, it's solid metal. And to install it, you literally just slide it back in there and maybe don't hold it at a downward angle. You just slide in there, tighten this back down, boom, solid. Now to get the phone out is also super easy. There's this little notch up here. You basically put pressure to pull that down and then there's a little tab right here that you just lift forward. And then these bottom are kind of hooked in. You can see that slide out. So now this piece is off and you can literally just push on the back and now your phone's out. Now there's a bunch of padding on the insides of uh, the case as well as on the back side of this. So you don't have any worries about scratching up your phone. That's a huge plus for me because I'm just really petty about that sort of thing. Obviously, since it's made for the specific phone, this is the 12 Pro Max version, uh, but they have one for the 12 mini, the regular 12, the 12 Pro, and it's obviously machined to fit the phone perfectly. You literally just push your phone in there, put this back on, and then a really satisfying click to let you know that it is safe and secure. Another attention to detail that I really enjoy here is the fact that the buttons are one, still accessible, and two, actually really functional. A lot of cases like this, when they get really thick, you start to get really mushy buttons or you have to press really hard down. And uh, for these, I don't know if you can hear it. 
it's a really clicky, like it's just as satisfying as the actual phone click on the side. So the buttons are really nice. And yes, I get this question a lot, is the sensors at the top are not covered. So face ID and everything fully works. You don't have to worry about that whatsoever. And they did such a good job at kind of getting the curve of the screen perfectly. Uh, again, a lot of cases like this that get kind of bulkier and thicker. I find myself having issues kind of swiping up to leave an app or accessing different parts of the screen to pull down, do different things. And here you just never have that issue. So even if I'm in the Beast Cam app, doing my thing, filming a bunch of cool stuff, uh, I have no problem going in and leaving the app and swiping on the side. So you're not having to like get your fingernail like in the crevice of the case. It's just, it's a really functional case. So now let's talk about the camera functionality. So these mounts are the same as the ones on the universal cage, just so you guys are aware in case you have this one. But if you don't already know, this works with all B-script lenses, like uh, let's say I have the anamorphic, I have the wide angle, the telephoto, the two times conversion one, the DOF adapter and so on. But it also works with other branded lenses as well. So if you are a moment user, you can get one of these cases throw your moment lens on there and you're good to go. And a bunch of other brands that I haven't really heard of, I'll, you can check them out in the description below. But honestly, I think that's kind of awesome that you can have another brand of uh, lens, but if you want the better quality case, you can throw this on there. And so to test this out, I went over to my friend James's house from Stoffer Garage. You should check him out in the link in the description. He's like 20 times bigger than me. So, you know, I don't know how much of a shout out it is, but He's an awesome guy, you should go check him out. And he just picked up this new Mercedes and so I was like, hey, why not shoot some cool shots of this? And it was so nice and easy. Filming cars can be really difficult, especially when you're using big rigs like the one I'm filming on now, my Pocket 6K all rigged up. Especially when you get to the interiors, it's just really cumbersome to sit in there. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max's camera is so good that I just wanted to be able to throw on a bunch of different lenses. So I tested out some anamorphic shots, uh, as well as for the interiors, I was using the Kenko wide angle lens from B-Script and the shots just came out wonderfully. You guys know that I hound on phone cameras having kind of crappier versions of sensors within itself. So the main sensor is awesome. The ultra wide is great in like perfect daylight, but car interior, it's gonna get a little darker in there, pretty noisy. And so the fact that I was able to use the main sensor and just throw on the wide angle uh, lens on the uh, B-Script cage here was incredibly helpful and kept the quality consistent. I also hopped on my electric skateboard and got some cool car following shots. And I was holding this thing sometimes inches above the ground. And as someone who doesn't want to even scrape up their phone, let alone completely destroy it, I have never felt more confident going like nearly 20 miles an hour on a skateboard while holding my phone out inches above the ground. And going back to what I said in the beginning, this thing is littered with quarter 20 mounts. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on in time, like a car mount, suction cups or magnets and all that stuff. But you could easily rig this for really creative shots that would be really difficult on bigger camera setups, like getting a big suction cup to put on the hood or the side of a car and just kind of connecting this on a couple different points and getting really, really cool angles. And again, if it happened to fly off the car and take a couple tumbles in the street, that'd be some really interesting shots. If you guys really wanna see that, let me know. If this video gets like 100,000 views, I will create a car commercial and mount this to a bunch of cars. So give this video a thumbs up if you really wanna see me hopefully not destroy, but put this in very dangerous situations. And like I had on in the beginning, uh, these are the kind of universal handles from uh, B-Script. And so I can attach these real quick so you guys can see. Like I said, these are all optional too. So if you only wanna pick up one, uh, you can do that. And they're all kind of separate pieces. So this is both a side handle and a top handle and they just use standard NATO rails. So if you have other NATO accessories, you could totally mount that. Oh, I think I for also forgot to mention, of course you have access to your charging port and uh, speakers on the bottom there. And I'm sure someone's gonna ask this about the charging port. Um, the case is fully flush 
to the cable. So if you have thicker lightning chargers, it's still gonna have no issues. I know a lot of cases have the charging port kind of recessed into the case and that's super annoying for thick charging cables. So just great design all around. In full disclosure, yes, B-Script is a major supporter of this channel. They sponsored this video and plenty others. I wasn't even gonna like say something like this, but they're like a dream company for any creator because they basically just say, hey, we like what you do, we like supporting you, um, and just go make some cool content with our stuff. They don't see this video before you guys. They don't give any creative input. They don't tell me what to say, what not to say. They just trust in their products and now so do I. That's why I keep showing them to you guys. That's why I keep recommending them because months later, I've tried literally like every single Beast Grip product that they have and they're all just phenomenal build quality and uh, just all around really good products. By the way, all the footage you saw today was filmed on the Beast Cam app. It actually recently had a huge update to support 10-bit uh, HDR recording. So now you can actually have a third-party pro app um, beyond the stock camera app to get 10-bit HDR, as well as the higher bit rates that you can shoot in. And then of course, all the pro controls that the Beast Cam app gives you. You can check all this out in the description down below. And lastly, I feel like this is a good place to uh, show this. Uh, I've had this iPhone 11 Pro version since uh, we first started working together and I showed it off in the first video back during holiday times. And it's kind of just been sitting on my shelf because I don't have an iPhone 11 Pro. So if any of you guys have an iPhone 11 Pro and want this, um, and probably in the US because international shipping would be crazy, but yeah, I'll give this away to one of you guys. Uh, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll just pick someone randomly and yeah, you can have this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.